Did it happen I right would, away, or? I would say 25-ish. And then you could support yourself entirely? Oh, well, I came to New York graduating. I graduated from college, came to New York, determined not to, uh, you know, not to depend on my parents. So I got a job, a part-time job at Greylock Electronics. Okay, then they have to have seats in the house. They can't sit in the back. Because they're, they have to listen. So is that the connection with Cynthia, dancing? Yes, in a way, because... I gave them back? Well, and Mabu Mines. And um, <laughs> Barishnikov, etc.? No, it was Dana Wright's, really. Cynthia got Dana and me together. Yes. You know the show very well. Sort of. I have notes. The thing that will be different this time is he's going to talk to the audience in Spanish. Which you know, so we recorded it, and I have to play the cues in his ear. No, in the early years, I put a lot of jobs together. I danced with the merry-go-rounders. And what was your first big show as a lighting designer that was like, that stands out, that was like... That, Jennifer yeah. and the biggest one. The, the biggest one, one was with Jerome Robbins in the New York City Ballet. So where do they and that was in the 70, 1970, something like that. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have a ticket, but I'm working with you. No, but I can't because I work tomorrow. What about the next day? To, I work too. And then uh, Robbins took me to Spoleto, Italy, where I uh, did a celebration, an evening of, I forget, a, oh, an e a, a celebration, the art of the pas de deux was the name of the evening. And uh, I did some of the best lighting in my life.